whenever a parent, parents separate, children involved, there's the good guy, there's the bad guy, I guess, type thing. I guess I was, might have been portrayed as the bad guy at a point because I, they felt I betrayed my wife as far as some financial stuff that I just did stupidly. Or stuff, so. Okay. The, the stuff that you did stupidly was, it had to do with, with losing money or? Losing it, money, yes. In business transactions? Uh, this I'm not trying to dig too much, but no, I'm, I'm going to tell you because it's uh, it all needs to come out anyhow. But I got involved. In, um, you know, you get these emails every once in a while that someone says there's a 2.2 million dollars in a bank account okay. in the UK. So I got involved in that. Okay. I'll admit that completely. I should have known better. It was stupid. But every phone number that's ever given to me and every address, I always followed up with it, and everything sounded legitimate. And as you know, I say, I got scammed. And uh, okay. I end up taking money out of our... Uh, You're by no means the first person that's I know, done that. <laughs> but, I, but, but I should know better. I mean, I'm not a stupid guy, but... Don't worry. I, I had been an employee for almost two years because of a knee injury. I, I couldn't just go back to work. I mean, I complete um, knee that was replaced. Okay. And it took me... Usually it takes you about a good year to get through all that. And it just... You know, I took the time and yeah. to get through all so. Yeah, we were financially pretty tight, and I just, when this came up, I'm like, God, oh, this is a quick fix for us to get back on our feet, you know, to keep our house going. Because my it wife. It hit you at the right time. Well, what you thought was the right time. Right. And I, I did lie to my wife about that, telling her why I was involved in some gambling type stuff, and it wasn't. It was never about that. It, it, it never, ever, ever was. I even still kept probably 90% of the documents and stuff, stuff that I sent. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I maxed out our MasterCard that we had had for years. It's like ten thousand bucks, um, you name it. And okay. That's yeah, all. As a matter of fact, we got in the hole there about thirty thousand dollars. When I did get my, uh, it was a workers' comp thing. When I got settlement on that, it was like sixty thousand dollars. We paid some of this stuff back as quickly as we could. Forty thousand of it that came to me. I used to to live off for a few months till I got a job down there and bought a car and I gave my wife money when I could, you know. And then right. That's just an obstacle. Okay. Could I look back once I could have changed it and just give it all to her? I wish I would have. And I wouldn't probably be in this. We're still getting phone calls about some stuff. I just had one on my way up here today because there's a fifteen or eighteen hundred dollar bill that I still owe yet, going back to this stuff that I was told through this company in Fort Myers. Mr. Anthony gonna take care of it, we'll get it paid uh, thirty cents on a dollar type deal. So that's that's being honest and blunt and to the point. Yeah, that's no problem. My wife knows about all this. Except the point that she didn't know that I did this scam thing because she believed I was gambling, and that's that's not true. So I was a You're free. It's all right. Uh, other we families go to it. We all have relationships with, with people yeah, that we yeah, love. Yeah, but you know something. We, do, we that's, do things like that. That's not the only time I, I had a problem with financial matters. Uh, before we moved down here in 1989, right after I left the sheriff's department, I went back into business with my father. My father had a car business for 44 years. Mm -hmm. I left the Sheriff's Department in 1984, went back into business with him, with the aspirations of aspects of me taking the business back over. And with me having a small son at the time, I figured, don't mind, I keep it in the family type deal. Yeah. Needless to say, about three years into the situation, my father and I, we, and I worked for family. <clears throat> and we had our moments that it was just not enough hours in a day. Why come you doing this? How come you doing that? How come you buying this? And how come? It was just back and forth. So when I separated, I went out on my own. 1987, and um, business that I had lasted for a couple of years because I had my own little car business. It wasn't anything large, but 